everybody, this is Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. I just got in the new Rodeo products that we've been waiting on since uh, the announcement of it in December of 2010. It's now August of 2011. It's been a nine month wait, but that's okay. In my opinion, it's been worthwhile. The new Rodeo products that we have in are the Rodeo R Premium Tablets, the Rodeo Unlimited Notebooks, and the Rodeo um, Pad Holders and the new sizes, the um, A4 and number 18 and the number uh, eight. So uh, I'm gonna show you what these are all about, show you kind of what the difference is in the paper and the cover and stuff like that, and, uh, and show you what the, this new stuff is all about. The first thing I'll cover here is the Rodia Unlimited Notebook. This is a new notebook. Had a lot of uh, excitement surrounding this notebook, actually. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure why, but uh, I'll explain to you what this notebook is all about. I do think it's a pretty cool notebook and something that is really a good addition to the Rodia line. Okay, so here's the deal. These new, these new notebooks have this cover that is really hard to explain. It's kind of a suede, leathery... Um, feel, uh, not necessarily leathery, but like a rubbery suede feel. Um, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it feels really, really good. I just want to keep on rubbing it because it's, it feels so good. So if you like to kind of fondle your notebooks a little bit there, you're going to really, really like these new covers that's on the Unlimiteds and the new R uh, Premium tablets. So there's two different colors, and they come in an assorted pack to the retailers. So you don't necessarily get to choose orange or black. I'm sure if you have a preference, you can email whoever your retailer is that you're looking to buy from, and you can uh, give your preference as to whether you'd have the orange or the black. But it's not such a big deal because their um, colors are reversed on the inside. So the orange is black on the inside, and the black is orange on the inside. So either way, you're getting orange or black. So I hope you like that theme. Um, now here's the funny thing. Okay, so if you'll notice on the inside here, this is lined paper. Um, we actually weren't supposed to get lined paper. We were supposed to get graft paper. Um, this was in the first shipment here. You know, if you're watching this video later after, well after August 2011, we just got these in. They were supposed to be graft. Now, the Rodian France makes both lined and graft. Only the graft was supposed to come into the United States, but there was some kind of little mix up. It's still being sorted out. But in any case, we got some lined ones. So there will be, li there will be lined ones, I would assume, for a limited time, but I think eventually they're all going to switch over to graft. So I won't focus too much on what's going on with the lined one. Um, though I will say it's got kind of the same format going on with the Rodia um, side wire bounds, if you're familiar with those at all, where it's got kind of a um, blocked out margin here, a little header, if you will, that you can have a, kind of a title at the top. And then it's got kind of a blocked out line that doesn't go all the way through the end of the page. So whether you like that or not, it's totally uh, your call. The, uh, the cool thing about these is that they are perforated. Um, I do believe that this is the only Rodia side bound perforated notebook. All the other ones are kind of stuck in there. So that's really neat. Um, they, uh, it's 80 gram paper, 60 sheets. Um, technically it's called 120 pages, like pages of a book, but it's 60 sheets. Um, and the uh, list price as of right now is $8 a book. So that's something kind of neat. Hopefully that's something that appeals to you, but uh, that's what the unlimited is all about and say so, uh, it's about a three and a half by five and a half size about the size of a small web notebook um, so there you go now um, that is the only new thing that came in that has the same paper as the old stuff the our premiums um, actually I'll get to those in just a second I'm gonna cover the pad holders first because it's taking up a lot of desk space and I got to clear some space okay so first off we got the number eight pad holders now this is the the you know, skinny rhodia pad that looks, you know, um, like it could be for a grocery list or a meter mate or something like that. But anyway, I really like them for doing to-do lists and grocery lists and stuff. But anyway, they now have pad holders for these. The way these pad holders work, it comes with an orange cover graph um, number eight pad. That's just how it comes. Um, and that's not changeable. Now there is an orange or a black option for the actual pad holder itself. Um, and the way these things work is it's um, kind of slid into the back there. It's got a cut into the uh, material, and then it's got a cut into the front as well. And you can kind of slide this bad boy on up in here. And voila. So there's your pad holder, and then you open it up, and it's got your cover all done there. Um, now, all of these do have a 
pencil loop. I'm not even going to call it a pen loop because it's really not that great for pens. Um, like for example, I have a fairly common uh, Lamy All-Star pen. A lot of people out there have Lamy All-Stars or Safaris. Um, this pen is not gonna be able to work. Um, it's definitely way too fat to fit in here. Even the clip on this pen is too fat to fit into the holder. So um, if you have a skinny pen or a pencil, I got the Rhodia pencil here, that will fit in there. But you're, um, you're pretty much, if you're using a fountain pen, you're pretty much gonna resort to either holding the clip on here or storing your pen separately. So that's one thing I'm not totally crazy about, but you know, at least they put something there. I wish it was a little bit bigger pen loop though, but hey, you know, you can't get everything sometimes. Um, then we've got the number 18 pad holder, which I can't even fit the whole thing in the frame. Um, but uh, there you go. This comes in orange and black as well. Same kind of situation. It comes with an orange cover graph pad, and that's how it comes. Um, it's got the same cut in here where you put the flap up in there, and that's how you do that. Um, the uh, the orange pad holders on all the on all the pad holders are orange on the outside and black on the inside, um, but it does have this orange stitching, which I really think is kind of cool. But anyway, um, the uh, the black ones are black on the outside and on the inside. Orange are orange on the outside and black on the inside, and then it's got the same little pencil loop there on the side. Um, there you go. So that is what the new pad holders are all about. Now to the good stuff. Okay, the stuff that's really excited me personally um, ever since I heard about it, and that was the premium tablets. There's three different sizes of the Rodeo premium tablets. Um, all the sizes are available in both orange and black, but it's the same kind of situation as the Unlimiteds where it's if it's an orange cover, it's gonna be black on the inside. And if it's a black cover, it's gonna be orange on the inside, okay, like so. So that's really kind of cool. It's got that same really awesome rubbery suede type feel um, that, that is just feels awesome. Now, the, um, the biggest difference between this paper, the, 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 these notepads and the old ones, I have an old one to compare. I'm not gonna say old, I'll say original. Um, the, I've got an original here. This is a Rhodia, this is a R16600 for anybody who wants the actual product code. And this is a 162008. Same size and everything, but the biggest difference is the paper. The paper is off-white in the new ones. Um, the old ones are white, and they're 80 gram. Um, they have a, they're very smooth, but they have just a hint of um, what's called tooth or feedback. It's just got a little bit of resistance while you're writing, just a tad. Um, the um, lined vert, the lined um, option for the 16 and the 18 um, have margins here, whereas the new ones have no margins. They're lined, like for example, I have the little guy here. It's lined, but there's no margin on any of the lined notebooks um, for the premiums. So um, you've got um, 80 gram and you've got 90 gram in the new ones. Now, the, if you notice, they're about the same thickness. Um, well, you probably can't notice because I'm not showing you, but there you go. It's about the same thickness in the notepads, um, but you're getting um, 80 sheets of paper in here in the, uh, in, the, in the 80 gram white version, you're getting 70 sheets in the new version. So you're getting fewer sheets in the premium. Just be aware of that. But it's thicker paper, so that's kind of your compromise. But I will say this paper is awesome. I love it. It's super smooth. It's just like Clairefontaine paper. If you used a Rhodia web notebook before, then that's what this paper is like. Really, really smooth. Just a little bit smoother than the, um, the white paper in the Rhodia pads. Um, now the thing that I love about this paper the most is that it is micro perforated at the top. This is the only Rhodia Clairefontaine product that is available in the United States in off-white paper that is micro perforated. Um, let me see here, there we go, bam. So if you like to do personal correspondence and you've always disliked how all of the Rhodia paper, or sorry, uh, yeah, all of the Rhodia and Clairefontaine paper is white and not off-white, um, now you have your solution. You've got nice 90 gram paper. It's very much like Triumph. If you've ever used the Clairefontaine uh, Triumph, it's just like that, except it's off-white. 
and it's micro perforated so you can write your correspondence letters, you can tear it out, you can mail it off and you're good to go. Um, so that's really, really cool. And you can see here from my writing, um, it writes really nicely, no feathering, no um, bleed through. There's um, just a tiny bit of show through on this because I used a really dark blue ink. But uh, all in all, this paper performs every bit as well as the Clairefontaine and the Rodia paper that's in the uh, web notebooks. Now the, um, the number 12 size here, they do make pad holders for these um, as a standard, so you, that's an option for you. Um, the uh, number 16 has a pad holder as well, and now of course the number 18 has a pad holder. All three sizes of these, I think I already covered this, but I'll say it again. All three sizes come in both black and orange versions, and they come in lined and blank. Now that's a change because pre in, the, in the white paper versions, um, the Rhodia number 12s are only available in lined and graph, not in blank. So for some reason, if you wanted specifically a number 12 pad in blank, now you have an option with the premium. But as it is right now, there are no graph R premium tablets and there are no dot R premium tablets. You get lined or blank. And the lined, um, all three sizes of these R premiums, the lined is a seven millimeter ruling. It has a little bit of margin at the top, maybe just a little bit at the bottom. And the, um, the other difference between these, it's a subtle difference, but something that I think is really nice. Let me show you between these two notebooks. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, aside from the obvious color difference of the paper itself, you may notice that uh, you can see the, the, side, the, the rulings lining up there, but you'll notice the lines are a little more subtle on the premium than on the normal Rhodia, and that's because in the normal Rhodia, it uses kind of like a, bl a bluish purple um, line on the white paper. Well, they use a gray line on the premium tablets. So it's a the lines are a little more subtle. I think that's nice, especially if you want to use lines for your correspondence. It's going to work really well. So that's that's kind of some of the differences between the paper. They're still going to perform, you know, really well. Pretty much if you go with Rhodia, you really can't go wrong. Um, but uh, it's going to do really well with your fountain pens. And hopefully um, it's going to be a, a long-standing addition to the Rhodia line. I know I'm really excited about the new paper. A lot of people have been anticipating it. And it's something that uh, I think is going to serve Rhodia really well ongoing. So that's all for the introduction to the new Rhodia products as of August of 2011. As always, if you have any questions, you can always email me at brian at Thanks a lot, everybody, and right on.